Cameroon was a German colony during the imperial and colonial era, it was seized and partitioned as a result of the First World War to Britain and France who were the Allied powers and later became Thier Trust territories under the United Nations trusteeship supervision. After the Second World War, there was a wind of conciousness and spirit of nationalism across Africa, this was because of the ills of colonialism, the feeling of self-autonomy began fueling in the minds of people in Africa and Cameroon. The formation of pressure groups, political parties, trade unions led champion decolonization from Britain and France across Africa. French Cameroon gained her independence on 1 January 1960, while British Cameroons were only given the option to either join the Federal Republic of Nigeria or the Republic of Cameroon to gain her independence reasons given was that she was too small to be an independent country, nevertheless, she was a more bigger and more populated country than many British Caribbean colonies who were given independence including Jamaica. Through a referendum conducted in 1961, British Southern Cameroon voted to gain independence by joining the Republic of Cameroon and British Northern Cameroon join Nigeria. The union between British Southern Cameroon and the Republic of Cameroon was more like the Sene Gambia Confederation, it was two countries coming together. It adopted a federal constitution of two states, with Amadou Ahijo as president, John Ngu Fancha as Prime Minister of West Cameroon and Vice President of the Federal Republic of Cameroon. However, the English-speaking peoples of the Southern Cameroons did not believe that they were fairly treated by the French-speaking government of the country. Following a referendum on May 20, 1972, a new constitution was adopted in Cameroon which replaced the federal state with a unitary state. Southern Cameroons lost its autonomous status and became the Northwest Province and Southwest Province of the Republic of Cameroon. The Southern Cameroonians felt further marginalized. Groups such as the Cameroon Anglophone Movement, CAM, demanded greater autonomy, or independence, for the provinces. Pro-independence groups claim that UN Resolution 1608 April 21, 1961, which required the UK, the government of the Southern Cameroons and Republic of Cameroon to engage in talks with a view to agreeing measures for union of the two countries, was not implemented, and that the government of the United Kingdom was negligent in terminating its trusteeship without ensuring that proper arrangements were made. They say that the adoption of a federal constitution by Cameroon on September 1, 1961 constituted annexation of South Cameroons. Starting as a low-scale insurgency, the conflict spread to most parts of the Anglophone regions within a year. By the summer of 2019, the government controlled the major cities and parts of the countryside, while the Ambazonian nationalists held parts of the countryside and regularly appeared in the major cities. A year later, clearly defined front lines had emerged, sometimes with a tacit mutual understanding between the belligerents on who controls which areas. While Cameroon would raid separatist-controlled towns and villages, it would not seek to outright recapture them, focusing instead on securing the major urban areas. The Cameroonian government is supported by Nigeria, while some Ambazonian groups enjoy the support of Biafran separatists. Thousands of people have been killed in the war, and more than half a million have been forced to flee their homes. Although 2019 saw the first known instance of dialogue between Cameroon and the separatists, as well as a state-organized national dialogue and the granting of a special status to the Anglophone regions, the war continued to intensify in late 2019. The 2020 Cameroonian parliamentary election brought further escalation, as the separatists became more assertive while Cameroon deployed additional forces. While the COVID-19 pandemic saw one armed group declare a unilateral ceasefire to combat the spread of the virus, other groups and the Cameroonian government ignored calls to follow suit and kept on fighting. Limited attempts have been made at negotiating. Talks mediated by Switzerland in 2019 ultimately failed, and the Ambazonian leadership crisis has complicated the situation. The same year, separatist leaders who were extradited from Nigeria in 2018 were handed life sentences by a military tribunal. However, Facing mounting international pressure for a global ceasefire, in July 2020 Cameroon began negotiating with these imprisoned leaders. The talks were held between Saisiku Julius Ayuk Tabe and other imprisoned leaders and representatives of the Cameroonian government. The talks outlined a series of conditions for the Cameroonian government to accept that Ayuk Tabe said would create an enabling environment for substantial negotiations to occur. These talks have so far failed to produce any results, and